Hi everyone, Michelle here with Acrylic Mixology Art. If it's the first time you're joining, thanks for uh, watching my video. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back and watching another one. So today, I've been messing with pearl paints. I just kind of want to do something different. Um, actually, I'll show you. So, don't make fun of the, the design, but I love the colors in this painting. I bought this painting probably... God, this had to have been 10, 15 years ago, maybe. And it's got the little, the little blingy things on there, and a lot of them have come off. But I kept the painting because I love the colors. Um, not knowing I was going to get into fluid art. But um, I'm going to try and replicate something like this, I think. Not, not with the design. I'm not drawing a chandelier. I'm not putting, if, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's little glitter pieces, kind of green and blue. And I'm not doing blingy things. I just wanted to do the color. So I decided to uh, try it in a, a, a bloom, actually what I call a linear bloom, and probably not tilt it, probably just spin it out. But um, I decided to make my base coat the green that's in here, because you know green's my favorite color. But um, I just had this made too, and there are probably a gazillion bubbles. Should be enough. Mm, maybe a little more down here. I don't want to put too much, but I think that should do it. I'll wipe this can off so I don't have pea green paint dripping everywhere. Now it's just going to drip on my hands. So this is, I think this is called. Um, Mellow Moss or, I don't know, Mellow something. It's uh, with the PPG Multi Pro. I found that I like that paint the best. Um, my, my bloom paint is pretty thick, probably thicker than most. And um, I like how this paint does with it. I also use the Sherwin-Williams little quartz, although I still think I prefer the PPG. <laughs> hearing somewhere we're not supposed to torch house paint but I don't know why and since there is a gazillion bubbles I'm torching it because I'm certainly not going to sit there and pick them all out so I have a lot of colors today it's not something I, I, I like to do like about five colors in a bloom I think that's ideal and it seems like when you get too many colors, some of them just disappear altogether. You really can't see them. And that, to me, seems like a waste of pain and effort. But uh, this first one is called Scarab Beetle. It's a um, color art. Uh, primary, I think it's primary element. It might be a bling it. I don't know. But um, it's a color art paint. Now, I want this pretty heavy in color. So I'm going to lay down quite a bit of paint. This is Arteza's Pearl Sage Green. So if you could see in here, it's pretty, it's pretty thick. But that's, um, that's how I like it. Found to be successful doing them this way. Um, I did used to use it thinner, but <clears throat> I don't know. This has just kind of worked for me. Now, was that a gloop? Is that a booger? Or is it just a gloop of paint? No, nope. no boogers. All right. Uh, this is TLP S'mores. Some of this down. I love this Scarab Beetle from uh, Color Art. It just has the coolest effect. It looks kind of, uh, I guess, maroonish. But it's got, um, it's got a green to it. I can't. If you look at the bottom of them, once you mix them up, you really can see the true colors on that. This is a Titan Bluff. Titan Buff, not Bluff. Buff. This is a um, Golden. Uh, next we have Color Art Sea Goddess. I love this color too. 
Again, it's green. There's not a lot in here. It's not wanting to come out. It's like, no! Don't mix me. I don't want to be mixed. I want to be happy in my little jar. Hmm. This might be too thick. We shall see how that works out. Hmm. Hopefully it's not a problem, but yeah, I think I should have added some Jasonia to that or something. All right, this is another uh, another color art primary uh, elements. This is called Aspen Leaf, and it looks. I guess it's. I think it's actually categorized in the brown family. But it has kind of that purpley look to it. I don't know. I think it's cool. And then we have uh, another color art, primary element, Harvest Moon. This is a really pretty color. If you buy color art, if you haven't tried Marigold, that one too. Just a beautiful shade of orange. And then is it Fennel Flower? I guess that's kind of more of a yellowy orange, but just, just a cool color. And this is a uh, TLP Hammerhead. I needed a, uh, a cool blue in this. All right. All right, cell activator. It's a... Uh, a carbon black or black lamp I don't remember it's a Amsterdam and it is mixed with Australian Floetrol about 40 grams of Floetrol to 10 or 15 grams of paint all right These paints do not want to move. Oh my goodness. I am going to need more paint on the edges. That I know for sure because I was having a lot of trouble down here. So me add some more. I might actually blow it out some on the edges. Bring in some more paint. Definitely an issue.
little better on the ends anyways. And it just was not moving and I think that's probably why. Okay. I'm gonna spin this out and let's see what we got. I'm loving the, uh, the aspen in here. And I can see a little bit of the scarab beetle, but not a lot. But again, I, I attribute that to when you have eight colors, I'd say four of them are gonna get lost, it seems. I can see a little bit of the sea goddess, which is that faint sparkly, uh, sparkly green. But, I don't know. We shall see. See how it comes out. some of this paint to help move it. Yeah. Help move it along. I'm actually wondering if I even put enough of the color paint down because remember I said I wanted, I wanted it pretty saturated with color and there's not really a lot, a lot on here. It will uh, make it to the sides, but I really wanted more. I did really want uh, the wispy luck, but that seems to be what I have. All right, do a little more spinning. Let's bring just some of the paint to go that way. some of this up. Right back. I thought about doing a brown and black cell activator, but I thought it might be too much, but I am not seeing a lot of the brown seeing some of it but not a lot but again I attribute that to the fact that there was so many colors in here it's kind of get breaking up a little bit of the chunks that's in there since I seem to not be able to blow this out correctly today Mm 
What do you guys think? Let me know. I will tell you my um, my spinner is actually a, a 24 by 24 inch piece of plywood. And then I went on Amazon and found like one of those round acrylic Lazy Susans that's just, you know, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe that deep, maybe a little deeper. And I glued it with, um, I don't know what I, it was Gorilla Glue or some kind of super glue or something, I don't know. I uh, did the measurements and got my even points and just glued it on there because I, I couldn't find one I liked. And then the one, I, a couple of them I did find that I liked, I wasn't going to pay such a huge amount of money for something I was going to get paint on right off the bat and mess it up. So, um, some Lazy Susans, and they were really, really pretty pieces of wood. And I just kind of didn't have the heart to do that either. Buy something so I could immediately mess it up. So, anyways, just made my own. Uh, my husband happened to have this plywood there. It's, it's thick, though. It's at least three-quarter inch, so it's heavy. If you can uh, find one that's maybe half inch, it's not so heavy, it'd be better for sure. So... But I don't think I'm going to do anything else with this. I think I'm going to leave it as it is, let it dry. Um, for the most part, I like it okay. I am trying to figure out why. It seems like all my aspen leaf, which is this kind of burgundyish purple colors over here, and all my harvest moon is over there. I don't know. Definitely didn't want to blow out correctly, but I do like the colors. Is it like this? Eh, probably too much Harvest Moon. Um, and there's definitely not any of the burgundy in there. I just thought it would look good against the hammerhead in this green background, but no, not quite, but that's okay. You know, if I do it again, um, I think I would use like a, a dark brown, cell activator. Maybe like a Van Dyke with some black added to it to really deepen it. But I'm not unsatisfied with it. I like the painting. Didn't quite hit this mark, but that's okay. You know? C'est la vie. That's why I have more paint. I can do it again. Right? Yeah, that Harvest Moon's really... That and the... Uh, <clears throat> the aspen leaf is what's catching, catching my eye the most for sure. And then the um, the sage green, Arteza's, um, I think it's pearl, pearl sage green. You can definitely see there's some beautiful cells in here for sure. So. All right, well, I have a corner I need to cover. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the colors. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's Friday for me, by the way. This will probably get posted Saturday, maybe. Saturday or Sunday. So, anyways. Take care. Go mix it up. Bye. All right. I have gotten... I usually go in the... Darn, uh... It's darn glares. I usually, um... Will do... When I finish recording finish a painting I will usually let it just sit for a minute while I clean up and put everything away so my camera turned off though for some reason yeah these cells are are some of them are pretty cool looking um, with the different uh, colors in here not quite my painting but I'm pretty happy with the results I think it's uh, well, and again, I love green, so I think it came out uh, pretty well. Anyways, have a great day. Thank you.